the solution. But I think that's democracy. Let's listen to what Kalonzo Musioka said. Um, he was somewhere in Muranga again, uh, talking about what he will do if elected. <coughs> Listen. Nilikuwa mstari wa mbele kumshawishi mzee Kibaki a declare free primary education. Ilifanyika hai kufanyika. Sasa with that experience nataka nitangaze serikali tutakayounda ya Oka wipe ikiwa mstari wa mbele itahakikisha kwamba watoto wetu from 1 to form 4 wanasoma bila karo. Kwa sababu wazazi wamesumbuka zaidi. Tukimaliza mambo ya free secondary education hata vyo vyetu hatutaki watu wanakimbizwa pale na pale kulipa inaitwa higher education loans board sijui nini. Okay, that is Kalonzo Musioka. He's speaking about education, reforms that you bring, especially on the cost of education. But also someone else was being unveiled as a presidential candidate within the One Kenya Alliance. That is uh, Moses Wetangula, the senator of Bungoma, will be a presidential contender under Food Kenya. Listen. Makofi! Makofi! And what my presidency can do if my brothers give me the opportunity to carry the mantle is to ensure that Kenya takes its stage and right position on the world scene. I want to assure Ford Kenya that in me, you have trust. Ukweli ndi wambao utaokoa ishi yetu. Ukweli, ukweli, ukweli. Sio porojo, sio urongo, mtu kwa kazini, kazini yake, ime mshinda atoa mbinu zengine na kutukana viongozi wote kutoka kuwa inchi paka wala lio chini chini. Mimu wakweli nasema, sita kubali. Kama mtu aliingia kwa serekali, kama tuko na vijana milioni tatu peke yake ambao wajapata ajira, after 10 years, we now have 12 million youth who are unemployed. Sasa, akipata serikali, atakupatia aje kazi. Vijana fungukeni macho. And the hope is with one Kenya alliance. Therefore, when we say that tutakata ushuru marudufu, ushuru marudufu asilimia amsini, Kila mtu kama anavyosema ndugu zetu wa ANC atakuwa na pesa mfukoni. Yaani utakuwa proud Kenyan. Sio mtu ambaye unapatiwa baasha alafu mnapigana pale, wengine wanaumiana, wanaumia. All right. First of all, um, Carlos Monseca is talking about kukata ushuru. I believe he means maradufu. But maradufu means double or more. But he says that he's going to cut taxes by 50%. Um, something lost in translation there. But all the same, Senator Olekina, uh, this is the fourth presidential hopeful under the One Kenya Alliance. Musala Mudavadi, Carlos Musioka, Gideon Moy, and now uh, Moses Wetangula. In the end, they can only be one president and if the alliance is to hold until the end then they should essentially have one candidate when you look at the four of them who is the more likely future president in this country <coughs> Raila Molodinga. let me put it this way no i know yeah, very there well there are four principles in one kenya this alliance this one kenya alliance principle they're yeah. on their way to joining Raila. i can tell you that without any fear of contradiction mm -hmm. kalonzo musioka is a very good friend of mine and i know kalonzo means well for this country and I know what he's talking about in terms of education reform. Those are things which are doable. The only place that I'll differ with him is on the issue of reducing taxes by 50%, although maybe, you, as you said, that issue was not very clear. That can only be attainable once we reduce the debt mm -hmm. because we are overburdened by debt. You know, in fact, in the next, by 2026, this country will be, in fact, the share of uh, GDP to the debt would be almost around, four, uh, around maybe uh, about 74%. If, we, if you look at how much we'll be in debt, by right now we have about 7 trillion. How do you arrive at about that? About nine, 9 trillion. Those are the statistics, not, uh, I'll give you the right, the right figures. How do you arrive at that 74%? Be, uh, not 74%. It will be the share, to the share of G GDP will be almost around, uh, because of how much we'll be borrowing. By the time, by 2026, the amount of money that we would have borrowed would be around 14 billion because of the loans that we have, the commercial loans which are very, very expensive. They'll continue incurring, uh, incurring a lot of interest. And if we are to 
do what Kalonzo is saying, uh -huh. we will then have to really reduce completely, and Parliament will have to play its role in doing away with borrowing. Because right now, with the way we are borrowed, we had almost 9.2 trillion that we've borrowed, which is about 1.8 trillion that has not even been committed. These are figures that we had. Uh, last week we presented uh, a paper. Uh -huh. um, I think it was by the Budget Committee of the Senate. Those are official figures of as of June 2021 from the CBK is 7.7 .7 trillion. There is, one, there is around 1 1.8 trillion that has not been committed, but that's money which has already been loaned to us. Those are figures which are there. So if you, if you look at there is an... 1.8 trillion. Uh, almost 1.8 trillion. Who? That uh, by Treasury that has not been committed to projects. What are you saying, Senator? We have those figures. No, if you're you saying that 1.8 trillion has also been loaned to us. Yes, but we have not by used it. We have, we, yes, that is, those, that, that is a fact. We have money that we've already <coughs> spent, mm -hmm. and we have money, we have a line of credit which you're already paying interest on. Mm -hmm. If you look at the figures, if you look at the document, and I'll be happy to share with you the committee Let's report, and I'll give you the, f the correct figures. Mm -hmm. But the same projection is that by 2026, if nothing is done, you'll be looking at this country debt going up to around 14.6 trillion shillings. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. And that is what you'll cal you can now calculate the share of GDP. I don't mm -hmm. have the correct figures so the here GDP with me. It's expected to it's, grow. It's, it's, it's expected to grow, right. but if we don't correct okay. and reduce the debt, then of course we, we, that will not fix. Mm -hmm. uh, on the issue of um, the One Kenya Alliance, I'm 100% sure and convinced by listening to them that they all subscribe, and I hope, and, I, and I'm praying hard for this, mm -hmm. that they will all see sense in supporting one Raila Molodinga. Because Kalonzo Musioka, and I really want to play to him, that the dream that you and Baba had will finally be achieved in 2022. You know, there is a big role that you can be able to play. We now expect Kalonzo, and I'm praying that, you know, he's a good friend of mine, and I know he means well but for what this would country. Be, what would be his place in such an arrangement? I, think, I mean, you know, Baba said, uh, Kibaki Tosha. You know, Baba was not uh, anything to do with uh, a vice president at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, Kalonzo can come in, and in fact, where he's talking about education reforms, he can play a very critical role in terms okay. of the education docket. Mm -hmm. Because when he talks about um, all students, school fees being paid for up to Form 4, I'm sure if Kalonzo is given that docket, we can actually even start having free university education because he has served as a minister of education before. But, so but, he knows but, where the problem is. But, but Senator, I want us to make progress because already education is taking a whole 500 billion shillings. You reduce the taxes and then you, 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 no, you, you give free No, we education. realign our existing resources. We close all the corruption loopholes. We have extra cash. Okay. That extra cash, we take it to education and we take it in the health sector. Governor Kimemi, I want yes. us to listen to something that um, William Ruto said, is it yesterday, and welcoming, or yes, welcoming One Kenya Alliance or any person that may want to work with uh, his side of politics. We are ready and prepared to work with those who believe in our agenda, in the agenda of getting four million of our young people as a priority to be employed. I welcome all leaders who are ready to work with us on lifting this country up together under the bottom-up economic. All right, and of course, in the spirit of um, alliances and coalitions, Governor Kimemi, when you look at uh, the One Kenya Alliance uh, principles, the four of them, yes. each of them has a presidential ambition. Mm -hmm. um, where would you place your bet on? On, on Elayla. On Laila Moro really Diga. <laughs> yes. that, that, that's, where I put, that's where I put my bet. And I, and I can assure you he'll be, he'll be the president. That, that, that I can assure you. So, so what will be the role of One Kenya Alliance in that? So, so I, I think, I, think well, you know, I, want, I just want to maybe uh, agree, partly with what my brother here is saying. If you look at Musalia Karonzo, Weta and Moi, these are people who have worked in, in government. Uh, almost three quarters of them have been cabinet, cabinet ministers, vice presidents. So you can imagine mm. a government because we worked also together with them in the Nusumkate, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the, in the coalition government. And it, it was the cabinet that brought the economy to 7%, uh -huh. 7% plus, 7.3%. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that beauty, you know, the beauty of that configuration. One, national unity, 
that you know which which seems to be now lacking in the current arrangement where people think that the government is two tribes mm -hmm. but with this all these people coming into 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 cabinet irrespective of you know the you know the, the you know the, the positions but the, i think the next cabinet will be a fairly a powerful. fairly powerful cabinet i would urge them to join the you know a baba and transform this country the way the way they did it with Muzaki kibaki does so transform this country does the improve the economy what what uh, uh, excellency caronzo and they have all been to my, my that, county. they have been to my county i've right. also talked to them and i've seen them and they and they they have more close ideologically to baba than what you know than to than to others even but caronzo but talking about free education yes that is also baba's baba's vision Governor. so so i'd like to urge them because there are people we know okay they are respected in this country I was in Okabani yesterday, and that's exactly the message I passed. Very interesting. Let, 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 let Governor, it's very Baba interesting inform. that you're saying this now. I remember 2017, not so long ago. Yes, yeah, yeah, history, history changes. <laughs> history, history, history changes. Right, and we should, also go, we should also go beyond the 4 million youths that uh, the Deputy President is talking about. I know he made also some very uh, you know, unfavorable you know, comments about me in Magumu. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I don't hold it. You know, so so let, let me ask you this, Governor. Him. Does Arela win? depend on where one Kenya Alliance goes or he is good on his own if, even on his own I can assure you even on his own of course it's better when you have a, when you have a, you know okay a, a unity a unity you know team okay. it's, it's much much better okay yes. S -S senator you'll get the um, the benefit of having the final word here mm. and I want you to f reflect on something that just came out um, it's a notice from the Jubilee party Absolutely. notice to convene the national delegates convention mm. And it's scheduled for 30th of, of November 2021 at Kasarani at 10 a.m. And the agenda is to review, formulate, and or approve all policies of the party, to consider, amend, review, and or ratify the party constitution to ensure compliance with the Constitution of Kenya, the Political Parties Act, and the Elections Act, to consider, amend, review, and ratify rules and regulations of the party to ensure compliance with the Constitution, and those are the laws, and to consider other matters referred to the NDC by the National Executive Committee of the National Governing Council. Uh, of course, last week we were told there would be an NDC. Now, a, day, a date has been agreed upon. Will you be attending, and what are your reflections on what that agenda is? No, first, I think uh, I have no business with Jubilee, completely. I l left Jubilee in my mind and my, my soul just like I left uh, sucking my mother's breast. And whatever Jubilee is doing now, I think, I don't know who Jubilee is now, because to me it's an empty basket. So whatever they want, whatever they want to achieve, and probably amend the constitution, uh, purporting to create an avenue to kick out the deputy president because the constitution of the Jubilee party says that the deputy president will be the deputy party leader. If that is what they intend to do, mm -hmm. let them do it. We are only nine or ten months to the general election. By 9th of February, every state officer or a public officer will be signing. People are getting into an election mood. Mm -hmm. We are not bothered. We are not concerned. We are now building our party called UNDA, and we are clear in our minds where we want to take this country. Mm -hmm. So we so, wish, so them, we wish them well. They are our competitors. The last time I was in Jubilee and, and uh, gave a statement at the Jubilee House mm -hmm. when we went there, I told them, guys, if you don't listen to us, we'll make sure we'll carry the stone, the brick, the nail that we used to, to to be ruled Jubilee. But and Jubilee is the ruling party. Day, Jubilee the ruling party. never been the same again. Okay. Jubilee uh, is Jubilee. about the followers, is about the numbers, okay. is about the leaders yes. in that particular tally. Oh, the oh, men oh, in right. Jubilee form a coalition, whoever it is. We are ready to face you. We, we only oh, say, oh, we only say, say Chairman, that. Jubilee is a ruling party. Uh -huh. you know, I mean, you cannot, you know, the, the unit, you mean, you cannot make it look like, uh, you know, an entity. Is a, is a ruling party. DP is in there. In paper. Uru Kenyatta is there. Mm -hmm. I'm also a Jubilee governor. Okay. So I know he's ODM senator. So so it is a party that is also transiting like any other parties. All right. And and it doesn't stop. I know there's been a move to kill. I mean, you know, kill, kill small you know parties that are emerging. I personally support that parties should be around to to evolve. And as I said when I was here last, we should also now build a culture of coming coming up with a party, a formidable party of national unity that is able to drive an agenda of ideology okay. through times, not just five years, five years you have parties and parties. And that's what we should be looking at when you discuss issues of party in this country. All right. All right. And uh, the viewers via Twitter have been saying, Athanas Mavuti, you're saying corruption is paid by the poor. Senator Olekina, don't relent in seeking justice for these junior KEMSA employees. 
Asamo, Governor Kimemi, I'll quickly outlining the credentials of Raila Odinga on live TV. Who knew such times would come? He has mentioned Baba as reformer in various sectors of government. Wow. That's a good thing. Okay, no, Mualimu. <laughs> Between now and next year's August, we'll witness an imaginable party hopping, making a demolition of alliances, and confusing political statements. Whoever manages to assemble a team of tribal kingpins will smile all the way to the house on the hill. Okay. Ambassador Bumet, Waiguru left UDA, Waruguru left too. We saw Gilgil MP Martha Wangari with DP yesterday. Can't that alone tell where the mountain is politically? All right, Engineer Lazaro, 2022 competition narrowed to just two horse races. No place for third party. Briefcase party owners should start realigning themselves with either the Ryla, Kenyatta team, or UDA, Ruto team. Jacob Abere, 2022 approach is two horse races. Now Ruto has tested waters, so he needs like-minded group. And lastly, we haven't seen last of Tinga campaign assemble. Thank you so much for your feedback. Senator Mithika Linturi, Senator Leda Molikina, and Governor Francis Kimemia for making time for us as Antony Sana. We'll talk to you again soon, and uh, these conversations continue because of our public importance. Up next is Sporty Monday. Willis Raburu will be here uh, with his uh, crew, but also having a link from Cairo in Egypt. Uh, we have um, some of our representatives in that country. Bye for now. My name is Sam Gituku. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning.